Jeremiah chapter 35 verse 15 and it reads I have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets rising up early and sending them saying return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings and go not up the other gods to serve them and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers but ye have not inclined your ear nor hearken unto me first and foremost I want to give all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bitches of great millstone the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the bible peace blessings and safety to all you sincere items keep pushing Keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. Repent, Israel. You know, we stay watching the news, but it's getting ready to get it's getting ready to get heavy. I mean heavy. It's getting ready to get heavy. Oh man, Israel, if you only knew and we tell you, according to the Bible, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim the Lord said, I I sent the prophets to go warn you, to, to mend your ways, to repent. To turn back remorseful, regretful, sorry, in, in a repentive spirit, in a contrite spirit, a humble spirit. Start worshiping other gods, these pagan gods, these idols. Start worshiping the customs and practicing the customs of the heathens. But the Lord said, they, they ain't listening. They didn't listen to me. And, and then, and yeah, yeah, we're repeating ourselves. What? What? Lord Yahweh Shai, he was on the scene who you equally call Jesus. He repeated himself over and over. The, the scriptures are repetitive. And, and, and that's what you Israelites need. That's what we need. Somebody to keep reminding us over and over and over and over and over again because we just don't get it. And, and, until you get it, get it. You don't get it until you get it, get it. Because Israel walking around, you know what I'm saying? The Lord had me think about that. As soon as I woke up, you know what I'm saying? Like Israel walking around, you know what I'm saying? Like they ain't scared of nothing, knowing they scared of something. You Israelites ain't tough. You ain't thug. You ain't hard. You ain't gangster. You acting, man. Because when the Lord sent a spirit upon you that you didn't think could exist, then your eyes get all big and bug the hell out. It is too late then, man. Jeremiah 35 and 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets. See the men out there on the highways and byways? The Lord sent those men. Starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the men on down, and the affiliates that's teaching the 100% truth according to the Bible. And you must discern, because you got a whole lot of men on the highways and byways with Bibles. But you better pray for the spirit of discernment to see who's who. You better try the spirit because scriptures tell us that many false prophets have went out into the world, the whole entire world. Not just here in Babylon, all over the earth. False prophets, you better be able to tell the, the real from the fake. You say you can re real recognize real, right? And real recognize fake, right? Jeremiah 35, 15. I have also sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Re return, meaning repent. Turn back from all our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doing. Are, are you not seeing what's going on in the earth right about now? People are being judged. They just did a lesson yesterday through the Spirit. Uh, people know saying, um, beach go, a couple of beach goers. Man, now, st started tearing. Because it's, it's, it's like camps all down in Mexico, too. Everywhere. Dude, look, going right back to... um. Man, I'm, I'm going to get something right quick and I'm going to come right back. Lord's will. I'm going to come right back. Just a, just an early one. About the head. I'll get this daily bread. Lord's will. Just, just here to give you an, another warning session. Uh, that's what it's all about. Prophesying. Telling you what's going to happen before it even happens. But you ain't got to listen, though. St. Matthew chapter 24. Let's get this. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And it's red letter. Lord, you how I speak? And who they going to call it? Jesus, right? Look, look. I'm looking at it. Look, more companies laying off people. You know, you know all the people that went on strike at the automotive companies, those different Ford, I think it was Ford, it was a couple, I can't think of all three of them. Look, they went on strike as if and demanded more money. Guess what? They, they asses got fired. You see that? 
So you you take your ass on strike, you know what I'm saying, with them other people walking around with them signs and all. Look, that DP don't care about you. I want more money. You better be, look, the Lord said, you no know saying saying, um, daily bread. No no deal reach. There ain't going to be no deal reach. The people that was walking around protesting, they ass got fired for those automotive um, companies. All of them got their ass fired. So you just like try to go out there and do all that protest and all that. Look, we about to get the hell out of here. This ain't our arrest. Marching all that with signs, all that. The Lord didn't tell us to come over here and do all that. St. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel, meaning this good news of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world by way of the internet. Everybody has a phone. Everybody getting them, getting them, um, them signals from the satellites to where you can go to YouTube and bitch you and rumble and things of that nature all kind of platforms where these videos are being uploaded on i can't name them all but the lord said with well, this red letter once again is lord yahweh shy yahweh shy he saves he delivers who you equally call jesus this is what he's saying and this gospel of the kingdom this word shall be preached in all the world shall be taught in all the world for a witness and um, israelite groups all over there in the philippines man in the philippines i can't even think all the names um Puerto Rico, everywhere, man. Italy, Israelites, oh, way over there in Italy, teaching the word. In Tanzania, way over there in Tanzania, teaching the Bible. It just, it just everywhere. I can't, I can't name, forgive me, brother, for not naming your city, your state, your country. I can't name them all. Look, look the Lord said, and throughout the four corners of the earth, through the world, for a witness unto all nations, because Israel has been scattered. He's going to judge you, Israelites, you don't repent. And then shall the end come. That's why it's getting so violent. That's why it's getting so chaotic. The Lord And, and the Lord is only turning up. You, you can't see that. That's why Jeremiah, you don't hear Jeremiah crying out. Crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up his voice like a trumpet. You don't hear Jeremiah crying out, man. You don't hear Ezekiel crying out. Baruch, Luke, Matthew. Habakkuk, all the men of the Lord crying out, man, telling you Israelites to repent, mend your ways, return ye now every man from his evil way, from his wicked ways, man, Israelite men and women throughout the four corners of the earth and amend your ways, amend your doings and go not out the other gods because our people are heavy into idol worship and the Lord's going to judge them, man. The Lord's going to judge him. It's going to be worse than them people that got struck by that lightning in Mexico on the beach. You do not want to tarry when it comes to seeking your hawa Bahashim Yahweh. This thing is deadly serious, man. But the Lord has to put his spirit on you to even seek him anyway. The Lord controls everything. So you see the Israelites that are not seeking the Lord, you, you already know, man. If they don't repent, we look, we're at the end of this thing, too. We actually had the people being deleted at football games. You never know when that spirit creative event is going to get you. It's, it's watching you. That spirit creative event is right there. It's, it's right there. It's right there looking at you right now. And amend your doings and go not out the other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and, and to your fathers. I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear. Nor hawking unto me. Once again, going right back to Ezekiel. Matter of fact, I want to get it right quick because I've been quoting it for the last couple of days. So let's just get it right quick. Ezekiel, what is it? Uh, is it one or two? I think it's two. Let's see. Let's see. It might be one, but I'm kind of pressed with time right about now. Let's see. Is it one? I'm just looking through right quick. I think it was that two. But Israel, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm kind of pressed with time right about now. So I don't really have that much time. I got to get rid of the road. I just want to throw something out there. Just about just repenting, man. Judgment is going for. I will read this, though. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse um, 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed. You see? 
Transgress means to um, pretty much break the law of sin, right? Against me, even until this very day, 2023. For they are imprudent children, the hard-headed, retarded, right? And, and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And they, whether they hear or whether they forbear, so it doesn't matter if you listen or don't, but it'll behoove you to listen. For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. And brothers can put it on the comment board, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I can't think of it right now. They wouldn't listen to me. They're not gonna, they didn't listen to me, so I know you, they're not going to listen to you. I mean, it could, it could be in here. No, it ain't, it ain't there. But, but the Lord showing up judging our people. He got those spirits, creative events, active, man. Nobody don't give a damn about no football game, no basketball game. You know what I'm saying? That certain breakfast, now, that certain um, bread, circus and bread. I mean, we will make, might watch a game, you know what I'm saying? But we're not in tune to it like that. Matter of fact, I stay in Ezekiel. Just stay in Ezekiel. Just want to get this right quick. People being ate by animals, all that. But no, Israel hard. They ain't gonna listen. Still performing that damn witchcraft. Can't stay away from them drug dealers. Can't stay away from that block. The Lord got the, the Lord. You 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 want the block to be hot? The Lord gonna make the block hot. You want to be the hot boys? What well, the Lord gonna make it hot for you, man? Ezekiel chapter 18. One of my favorite fair scriptures. Early in the morning. You start with a scripture like this, man. It gets you in line. You see? Ezekiel 18, 30. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. See the Lord. So the Lord's got judgment coming forth. Everyone according to his ways, right? It says, repent. Repent. Turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. And that's going to be the majority of our people. It's going to be, the Lord going to open up that ground like he did in the wilderness and swallow our people whole. And, and the thing about it, don't, don't do all that hooping and hollering. Because remember, you, you was tough. You, you didn't have to um, listen to nobody. Don't do all that damn hooping and hollering. You know when the ground open up on you or when a vicious animal just come out of, out of nowhere. You see? You remember, you got it. Don't don't even worry about it. When a vicious creature come out of nowhere, don't don't you worry about it. you. You hold that. You you take that. Remember, you 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 hard. You ain't gotta listen. The scripture said they ain't gonna listen. Remember, you didn't listen, Israel. The Israelite man and woman. You see. Re -re remember. Let me just look it through right quick. Let's get this right quick. St. Luke chapter 13, verse 3, and it reads, I tell you, red letter, Lord Yahweh shall I speak of who they're going to call Jesus. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, turn back, remorseful, sorrowful, with a contrite spirit, a humble spirit, for all our wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings in this life and our former lives, right? Ye shall all likewise perish. But the church pastor tell you to come as you are. But the Lord said, no, you better not come as you are. You better come in a repentive type of spirit. Amend your ways. Don't look Israel. Don't don't come as you are. Don't don't come as that old man. Don't come as that old woman. The Lord will strike you down. And that's exactly what the Lord is doing right about now. He's just striking Jake down, man. Just, just striking him down. And it's, and it's and it's good for him. Matter of fact, let's just get this. Galatians chapter six. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, and it reads, Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man or a woman soweth, that shall he or she also reap. You reap what you sow. That's, that's all. The chickens are coming home to roost. That's all. That's all we're seeing. We're starting to see the chickens come home to roost. That's all we're seeing. The chickens are coming home to roost. That's why the Lord said, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his deeds, according to his works, right? Colossians chapter 3. 
And you hold that energy. You bad. You tough. You don't want to listen. You're rebellious. Look, look. Hold that energy when 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 uh, when judgment come upon you. Just just hold that energy. You see, don't don't say a word. Just hold, just uh, just hold up your head. You know what I'm saying? And stick out your chest and, and, and receive whatever the Lord got coming for you. Cause, cause that, that's what you wanted, right? That, that's what you asked for, right? Colossians chapter three, verse twenty-five. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect to present. Every time I read these scriptures, I get nervous. Every time I read these scriptures, I get nervous. But, but Jake, Jake, um, you know, they they thug. They ain't got you know. Our people are hard. They G. Just trying to keep that name. Want, want to keep that status? All right. The Lord got a status for you though. What what is it? Um, bear with me. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 1, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh shied, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things have mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh shied. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, Oh, I got to be rich. I got to be rich. I got to be rich. There ain't nothing wrong with having money. But if, if that's the only thing you think about is some money, change that. Change that. Even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, a humble, a remorseful, a regretful spirit. The, the Lord got the angels watching those men. You see? And trembleth at my word. And that's the point right there. And trembleth at my words. When these words come out, do you tremble? Or do you laugh? Do you mock? Do you scoff? You say, Yo, he used a curse word. And the Lord always had me think about this. The last thing Israel's going to be thinking about, it ain't no curse word. This is rude speech. A curse, no saying, is the opposite of a blessing. Look it up. Instead of coming on the comment board telling something, you're using a curse. You know what I'm saying? Look up what the word curse mean. Do, is you ever going to do that, Israel? Instead of just coming on the comment board, he dropped the F-bomb. He said the D word. He used M effort. Look up the word curse in the etymology, man. It's to pray to the Lord to send physical harm against you, your family, and everything that you love. That's what a curse is. The sin physical, they, they pray to the God of the Bible, Yahweh Ba Shimia was shy, the sin physical harm on you. That's what a curse is. And the last thing you're going to be thinking about when it really pop ahead, the last thing you should be thinking about, did, did you get the message? Don't worry about how the message came out. Did you receive the message? Did you take heed to the message? Did you tremble at the words of the Lord or you was too busy trying to see if we was going to drop an F bomb or the D word or an MF? -er? You, you, that's the only thing. Only thing you heard was damn. You didn't hear repent. You didn't hear turn back. You didn't hear the Lord deleting all these people. You didn't hear none of that. All you heard was damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's all you heard, really. This, this, this ain't for you, then, man. This ain't for you. You men or you women. Last thing you're gonna be, you're gonna be worried about a spirit creative event getting at you soon. Come. Well, that's what you need to be worried about now. Well, this is. I want to jump down though. Let's jump down Isaiah 66. That's why we're warning you Israelites week in and week out. That's, that's why men warn us week in and week out. Because this is how deadly serious it is. Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, will come with fire. And with his chariots, so-called UFOs or spaceships, like a whirlwind to render his anger and, and, and to render his anger with fury. But you worried about an F bomb. The Lord is coming to render his anger with fury, man. And it rebuke with flames of fire. That's how he's going to correct you, Israelites. It's coming on the comment But You said, damn. You said, F. You said, mother effer. But you still, you come on the comment board talking all that nonsense, but you still, you still eat shrimp. You still eat crab legs. Still shaving off your beard. Still, still lying up. Walking around with them long ass dreads. But you were, you worried about an F. You have an F bomb. Women still messing around on their husband, but you worried about an F bomb. Still worshiping the customs of the heat. Still celebrating Christmas. Got, got your Halloween suit in the closet. Got a big ass Christmas tree in the attic. But you talking about some F bomb? Are you serious? See, it's still eating the hell out of that damn pork. 
practicing witchcraft. You see, selling dope. Listen to all kind of nonsense music, but then you come on our comment, well, shut the hell up, man. Because soon you do that, we're going to block you anyway. We're going to read your stupid comment, and then we're going to block you and wait for the Lord to judge you. And then as soon as the Lord judge you and we find out about it through the Spirit, we're going to do any news, or we're going to report on it. We're going to report on it, man. Report on what happens. So you still got scholars still around. You thinking they've been deleted already. That's how you know they pop up on your comment board like two, three years later. You're like, damn, you still alive? Because the Lord's saving them for a greater judgment. The Lord probably saving them for this right here. For behold, the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. This devil about to make it mandatory that you get an, an, um, an implantable device inside of you, a C-Hip, a Karagma, in order to buy and sell. You talking about an L-bomb or how the message was delivered unto you. Are, are you serious? You get ready to get thrown into one of the FEMA camps soon come too. You already know what they're going to do to you up and down. You better be worried about somebody eating you soon come because these people ain't nothing but cannibals. Hell, that's what, that's what them, uh, them one, one cent burgers is. Ain't nothing but human meat. Come on now. You you heard about our rude speech, you know what I'm saying? But this devil going to uh, make it mandatory, you know what I'm saying? Did you take that, that juice again, that Capri Sun? All kind of jobs closing down, but you worried about, are you not taking heed to this? Take, listen to the word, man. You men and you women. What it say? Like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's how he's going to correct you non-believers, man. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord please you. But by fire and by his sword. For by fire and by his sword. By fire and by his sword. Did, did you get it yet? Did you? Yeah, I repeat it myself. For by fire and by his sword. Simultaneously, you got the chariots, the so-called UFOs, the spaceships, and the missiles. And the only thing you're going to hear is boom, 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 boom. Last thing you're going to be worried about when a missile hit is somebody repeating themselves or somebody using some rude speech. St you Israelites are simple as hell. Just know that. You're just simple. For by fire and by sword will the Lord plead, he's going to judge all flesh. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and the heavenly host, the angels, shall be many. Did, did you get that? Did, did you get the message? Repent, Shalom.